Cast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Howdy, everybody. How's everybody doing today? Hello, David. Hello, Larry. Um, Larry, I thought you were going to get me all that stuff ahead of time so I could take a look through there. Um, we'll get together after the webinar, okay? Uh, give me a call after the webinar because um, we're going to cover some other stuff here. A uh, lot of requests. Hello, everybody. Hello, Daphne, Edward, Dan, Dennis, Larry, Ken, Rick, Jim. How's everybody doing today? The rest of the team, um, I strongly... Uh, I did. It's in the help chat. Oh, I didn't see it yet, Larry. Um, I must have got routed funny. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get with you right after the webinar, sir, and we'll deal with it. Um, good morning. Yeah, hot, hot, hot in Wisconsin. Yeah, it's supposed to be 100 here today, Larry, too. I feel you. It uh, sucks. <laughs> uh, and uh, Jim. Mr. Meinweiser, yes. Uh, Jimmy, going to be on Skype after the call? I'll find you. Will that work? Jim. Perfect. Find you right after the call. What we're going to do today, guys, is uh, we're going to cover uh, in depth the loyalty and the viral campaigns. Um, there's been uh, that's kind of where I left off, and to be completely honest with you, I'm getting a lot of emails saying, "Hey, when are you going to finish it? We really need those two videos. We need the viral and the loyalty. We need to understand it. We need to talk about it." You get the idea. Um, so we're going to cover that today. Let me. I want to jump in here. I should have these. Uh, downloaded somewhere, but it'll be easier for me to find them if I just jump in here. One second. Yes. All right. So I'm just going to open this guy up. And we'll talk talk about this in just a second here. Um, lots and lots of new features and additions uh, in the software, guys. Um, I'm going to give you a quick overview of some of the things that uh, I can show you real quick. Uh, basically, the surveys slash trivia functionality, uh, that's coming. That's not in this test installation. Uh, that's going to replace the polling tab. Currently, when you go to set up a campaign, you're, you're given choices here for a new campaign, and one of them is uh, poll. So you select it here and link it to a phone number, but you have set poll up here. <coughs> That's going to change. That's going to be a standalone campaign style where it'll have its own workings, its own welcome message and, and all that stuff and be removed from there. <coughs> and you're going to uh, be allowed to go question by question um, with unlimited questions and then unlimited answers and then designate which is the correct answer. So if you're running it in trivia mode, um, you'll also be able to keep score. Uh, there'll be a selectable, that's the right answer, that's the wrong answer message. Um, that should all be ready this week still. Uh, probably by Friday we will have an update available uh, with that as a beta. Um, we've also added or are in the process of adding, I should say, um, reply with name to all campaigns. Um, the way this works is if you have the double opt-in set, the way this works is you would have to put the keyword in a second time, right? And that would unblock them in your my lists. Reply with name does the exact same thing except the first word that they reply back with uh, goes in their name column. Uh, I should say the first 15 characters go in the name column in the database, and that will be accessible with short codes throughout the system. Uh, that message, the reply with name message, is set now 
under the SMS info tab. Uh, you can see new username message. So here you, you, we could just say, before we can begin sending you information, please text back your first name so we know who, we, who you are, or something like that. And when they reply with name, um, then it's going to get added into the name column, and you'll be able to send them a message using percent name percent, um, you know, and say, hi, Bob, that kind of thing. Uh, so those features should be out this week, uh, as well as updates on the new reporting functionality. The reporting functionality, if you haven't seen it, is also uh, ready and available now. Um, we're going to put a notice out to you guys that own the software. Um, but here you can see this. I don't have anything going on in this campaign, but we have these cool reports, and these are getting better all the time. And then you can just print those out. So that's pretty cool. Let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. Let's talk about the loyalty campaign. Okay, let me scroll up here. The idea behind the loyalty campaign is to replace the business sized punch cards that the Subway sandwich shops use and the car wash uses where every time you buy a car wash they punch another hole in the card when they punch out so many squares um, you get a free car wash you get a free Subway sandwich um, so that's what the loyalty program is designed to replace okay uh, before we get into the flow of it uh, I do, and, and these flow charts are available um, for download uh, over in the members area as well um, but before I get into the flowchart, I just want to talk about my concept um, for the loyalty program and why it's structured the way it is. There's another punch card program out there. Uh, you guys all know it. Sold as a WSO. And it generated unique codes, allegedly for the business owner to hand out to the clients and that code was only good each code was good for one point kind of a thing right my take on that so I didn't do that I decided on keyword of the day so each keyword is only good for one day and it's only good for one point my take on it is if the if the clerk is going to have to hand a piece of paper out, then what good does SMS do you? The only reason to use SMS for this type of campaign is to ease the pain at the counter and make it more automated. Right? So now, if I got to hand out a piece of paper, why don't I just use the punch card? Because at least with the punch card, I can see the action being taken. I can track the click of the punch card puncher. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Whereas if I hand them a piece of paper and say, hey, if you text this code into this number, well, then they leave and maybe they'll do it and maybe they won't. Now, what you can do with an SMS loyalty campaign that you can't do with a paper punch card campaign is you can get them to participate with no user interaction whatsoever in several locations throughout the business. For instance, let's say a holiday gas station that has a car wash. This is a real world situ situation. The holiday gas station near me um, has a paper punch card for a car wash. And what they can't do is get people to participate in that competition or that contest if they're paying at the pump. Because they can buy a car wash at the pump, but nobody's there to hand them a punch card. You see what I'm saying? So there's some benefits to doing this, but it also has a downside, in my opinion, adding a piece of paper into the mix just puts more obstacles in the way of the call to action. So that's why we built it this way. Let's go through the flow real quick here. Customer texts in a keyword of the day. Are they on the list? Let's say no. Let's say yes first because it's shorter. 
um, is the keyword of the day active? If it's not, they're going to get a the sorry keyword is not active today. And one is added to if it is active, one's added to their count. Is the customer due a reward? In other words, are they due their coupon? Obviously, here's a yes. You get a message. And here's a no that tells you how many credits to go you have left. When they get a new message, when they get a reward, then their customer count is reset to zero. Customer text in keyword of the day, is the customer on the list? No. Is double opt-in checked? If yes, then the user gets the double opt-in message. Okay. Then the user sends in the keyword. Now this has changed because we can reply with name here as well. They would send that in, and then they would get the message saying how many credits they have to go till their free gift. Right? Because they're brand new, we can take them straight to that message. The customer is made available, and the counts start. Does that make sense to everybody? Before we get into the mechanics over in the Wrecking Ball SMS, does anybody have any questions about the flow of the loyalty campaign? Perfect. Okay. That's not really about that, but I'm going to answer it anyway. How do we prevent customer A from passing on the keyword of the day to non-customer B? Customer B claims the credit without making a purchase. This has been brought up many times. I have yet, and I've, I've, I've offered this dare to many, a, many a, a, an owner here. If somebody can show me a real-world, real-use example where that's a problem, I'll address it. I think that's very theoretical. If I'm giving away every tenth car wash and I have a buddy passing those around, so now I have to give away two extra car washes, isn't that a good thing? I mean that I brought extra people in. If I'm giving away cups of coffee, isn't it a good thing? If if I'm giving away a Subway sandwich, isn't that a good thing? I mean, a restaurant will gladly give away product to get a new customer, right? Now, if their point of purchase and their marketing is right, just getting that customer on the lot was worth the cost of that car wash. You know, nobody's going to be using this to give away flat screen TVs, all right? Um, so I, I really don't think you're in danger of, of getting hurt, you know. Um, that's my take on it. If somebody is using it and has a problem or has a customer that wants to use it that way, let me know and we'll figure it out. But nobody has, has been able to, to show me a, a situation where that's needed yet. Uh, let's see. And Rick says, not on the list. Do they have to be on the list first? Um, that's a good question, Rick. I, we'll, I, let me, we'll get into that. Because, uh, no, I don't think they do. Because if they text just the, uh, the keyword of the day, they will join the list. So that's that's the way it's currently set up. Can a user earn more than one point per day? No. No, but what we are going to do, Ken, is the ability to, um, if I click back here, we're going to give you the ability to assign points for keywords and turn the day turn the keep the day part of it off and on um, so we are we are working on that uh, let's see uh, all right Ron says there's a problem with the tooltip uh, Eric can you take a note that the password field tooltip says choose a secure username when adding a client 
we'll deal with it. Um, let's see. Okay. I'm just scrolling through the question box. Uh, can the keyword of the day be automated, or does the owner have to put one in each day? Um, they have to be input, but you can upload a CSV of keywords. That's that's doable right there. Um, okay. Can the name variable be added to the reward message? Not yet, but it will be. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into this. We'll get back to questions later because they're coming faster than I can answer them anyway. Um, loyalty campaigns. I'm just going to edit this one because I've, I've got it set up already so you guys don't have to watch me type. Um, Obviously, we have a tracking ID. We've covered this before. That can be set to whatever you want. The title of the campaign, the client name, the web URL. If you're using SPS, this will be filled in for you already. Uh, if you don't know what it is, leave it blank. And the winning number. So this would be, in this situation, every fifth car wash is free. Okay? Every fifth car wash is free. We're going to select the number that we want the campaign to run on. We've got three checkboxes here. We've got the double opt-in. Okay, In the case of double opt-in, you would have them text in the keyword again. Okay, And that can be done because it's keyword of the day by passing. And that tooltip needs to be touched up again too, Eric, now that it's changed. Um, the variable keyword will send the message out again. So you, you would say, you know, before before we can send you information, please send the word keyword again. And what that does, if this is checked, when they first text in the keyword, it puts them on the list, like this top one as blocked. Then when the double opt-in or the reply with name is checked, they have to either send the keyword again or reply with their name. When they do, the status is made available, which makes them available to do a send SMS to. Okay? Um, so that's double opt-in message. So they would text in keyword of the day, winning number, select the number. Again, we'll talk about the reply with name. The way this is going to work is if this is checked, then they would send in the keyword of the day, and they would get this message right here. Okay. When they reply back, their name will be added to the name column. For future use, their status will be made available. All right. The winner message. This is the message that goes out when a customer reaches the amount of redemptions that they're required to reach to get the freebie. That's this message right here. The loser message is what the customer will get when they um, text in and haven't, you know, so they, they're on their third visit, they need five, it will tell them that they have two left to go. Okay? And the wrong keyword message. This is just the message that tells them that the keyword of the day is not active or there was a misspelling. All right? Does anybody have any questions about this screen? Yes, I know losers misspelled. I know all about it. What is the call to 
uh, subs. That is for call to subscribe, which which is in here but not really working. Okay, I wouldn't be using call to subscribe for this. Um, we're, it's in here because we're experimenting with it. So if you get a beta update and you see that here, you know, you can play with it, but um, the system does have call to subscribe now. It's set in the settings. It's set right here. And then so whatever's filled in here, you can pair it up. We covered it in another webinar. Um, you can pair it up with this campaign by checking call to subscribe. Uh, let's see, and if they don't opt in twice, they can't get the deal right. So, be, yeah, if, if double opt-in is checked, Rick, then they have to, you know, reply or, or, the, or it just dies. You know, you have a record of their opt-in um, in your database, but you can't send to it. It's all blocked, you know. Uh, is keyword of the day case sensitive? No, nothing is case sensitive in the, in, in the system. Okay, let's see. Yeah, Scott says, I don't think, yeah, I know you don't think it'll be a problem, but you could have them text in the last four numbers of their receipt or something like that. Yeah, you could. But, I, again, I, I don't think you understand how big a deal that would be to integrate into the system and then track on the customer end, and I, I just don't think it's required, guys. I really don't. Uh, is there a way to make a keyword good for a week instead of one for each day? Uh, there will be, Dan. Uh, that's, we're, I'm working on that, too. Uh, I originally proposed keyword of the week, and everybody pooh-poohed the idea and told me, no, it's got to be unique codes, and we're still, you know. But, yeah, that's coming. Uh, let's see. Could reply with name be legally as effective as double opt? Yeah, I believe that it can. I don't see why it wouldn't be. I think it would be more effective, personally. Um, you can prove that they replied with their name. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I think let's move on to the viral campaign. Does everybody kind of understand the idea behind the viral campaign? You know, does everybody understand the flow of the viral campaign? Yeah, so the idea behind the viral campaign, you get your pizza. On top of the pizza, there's a flyer that says, would you like 50% off your next pizza? Text pizza to 555-555. You text pizza. You get a reply back with an expiring coupon code giving you 50% off your next pizza. Then a minute later, you get an, another message that says, would you like 100% off your next pizza? Would you like your next pizza for free? Share this offer. Share the 50% offer with 10 of your friends. Text share to get started. So now you text back the word share. You're delivered a message with a unique code. You text that code to a bunch of your buddies and say, here, text this code into this number and get 50% off a of pizza. They do that. When 10 of them do it, you get your 100%, your free pizza offer. When they text that unique code in, they get the 50% coupon, and then guess what they get next? Right, exactly. They get the share message. So they can get a unique code to text to 10 of their buddies. See what I'm saying? And that's how you make it go viral. So let's step through here. 
as best I can because this is probably more confusing than it needs to be. Um, customer text in the word pizza, are they on the list? Let's say they are. The user gets the if member message, which tells them, don't worry, we are you're already participating in our campaign, whatever. Okay, then has the customer customer participated in the share campaign before? If they have, their incoming message dies. If they haven't, they get the share message, which gets them started. Okay, so they text share. They get the message back with a unique code, and they're told to send it to their friends. If their friends don't send it in, campaign dies. If their friends do send it in, and the notification box is checked, then then they get the message telling them how many credits they have to go before they get a freebie. And then obviously the the friend starts back up here in the top of the process and that's not detailed out. Now if the customer's not already on the list, then we get into is double opt-in checked. If it's not, the customer gets the first campaign message, which would be their 50% off message. If it is checked, then the user gets the double opt message, and the customer is added to the list as blocked. If they opt in, if they don't, it dies right there. If they do, we're right back here to the 50% off campaign message. Then from there, they get the share message. All right? Are you guys with me? Does anybody have any questions about the flow of the viral campaign? So if 10 college kids get together and they invite, and they all invite one another, all 10 get a free pizza? No. No, it, it, it don't work that way. They're, they're locked out of cross-participating. Um, because all of the codes are unique. Obviously, the business owner would want these to be people that might actually use the offer, so are you able to make it location-specific? No. Uh, you could, you know. I mean, as a, an offline consultant, you could take five minutes for your customer and export the list and scrub it down by area code and prefix and re-upload it. Um, but no, I don't have any way to control the location. Um, viral can get out of hand fast, and how do you bill the client in advance? <clears throat> Go get the client first, Edward, and then we'll talk about it. Uh, is there a control to prevent 10 people already on the list? Yes, we just talked about that. Uh, if the threshold is sent is set to 10 and 30 friends text in the code, does the person get three free pizzas? No, it's set um, just to deliver the first reward, Jack, is how it's currently set. Um, but there may be a checkbox that I could add to add an auto reset, and that might be worth doing. I'll ask the question. Uh, is there any benefit for having different viral campaigns for a single business owner? Uh, if you've got a business model that supports it, I suppose. I don't, uh, nothing, you know, nothing jumps jumps out at me right away for a definitive reason to, to do it or not do it or whatever. But uh, I, I suppose it's possible. If you select double opt-in, do you have to select reply with name? Uh, no, it's a one or the other. Or an either or, I should say. What is website again? What the hell did that say? What is website again? What website? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, Larry. Uh, if I send to my friends, of course, I will only send to friends in the area. That's my feeling on it, too. I mean, I suppose you could do a little bit of scamming by having your brother in Arizona you know, send one in, but again, 
I don't think many businesses are going to be too upset about giving away a pizza to make a customer happy and pick up some loyalty. Let's see, can you show actual examples of the first and second level messages? Yes, we'll be doing that. Next, after viral, can they be set up for loyalty campaign automatically? No. Um, not currently, Charles. Working on it. Has this really been tested, and were there any unexpected surprises? Um, it, it has. I mean, to a degree that uh, it's been used, not with, certainly hasn't generated a list of a million yet or anything, um, but uh, I, I don't want to talk about anybody's campaigns. Um, I know you're on the call, D.I., how many people have you put on the list with it so far? I don't want to. I don't want to blow your cover or your campaign or anything like that. Um, we tested it up to about a hundred, and it seems to function spotlessly. So that's what I know about it. Uh, let's see. What does this say? You know how how you have to have them limited to only sending out the offer once. Is it possible to have the set so if not sent it out within 30 days? I, I, that's, that's, I can't wrap my head around that book right now. Sorry about that. Uh, to refresh, a separate number should be used because if not a viral campaign, Yes, uh, if you viral and loyalty will pause any campaigns that they're sharing a phone number with. Um, we're working on making that a little more intuitive, but I'll show you how that works here in just a second. Uh, okay, I think I'm through them all. Let's take a look at what it looks like over here inside the system. You can see I've got one set up here. I'm just going to edit it, save us all some time. Tracking ID, title, web URL, you get it. Okay. Keyword. This is the first keyword that they text in. So this is the keyword on your flyer that's glued to the top of the pizza box. Okay, this is the share keyword. This is the keyword you want to go out to get them starting with the viral. When you select a number, let me show you this real quick. See how there's no phone number in here? When I select a phone number and update, now there's a phone number in here. Every campaign on my system that's using that phone number will now be paused. To unpause that and pause this, we come back in and change the phone number back to blank by, click, by clicking that uh, select one. Like I said, I'm working on a more intuitive way to do this. But that's how it works for right now. So we select a number. So they're going to text in pizza. Is double opt-in checked? If double opt-in is checked, they're going to get a message that says, something like that. Please text percent keyword percent again. When they get this message, that's going to say the word pizza. Then, or if double opt-in is not checked and reply with name is not checked, they're going to get this message, the campaign message. Show this to the driver to get 10% off your pizza. Okay? We're adding expiring dates to this. Don't worry, I know they're not here in front of me now, but we're adding expiring dates to this. So they're going to get this message. Okay? Then a minute later, 
they're going to get the share message. Share this offer with 10 of your friends. When 10 of them redeem, you get a free pizza. Text share to get started. Here, there is no need for a variable because right here is, is the share keyword, so you can just type it in here. Got me? So then they text share to get started. They get the code message. Here's there is a variable, percent code percent. This is the message that I'm going to get after I get the pizza, I see the flyer, I text in the word pizza, I got my 10% off, show the driver, I texted the word share back in. Now I'm going to get this code message. This is where I'm delivered the special code that I can send to all my buddies. Okay? Notification check. If this is not checked, uh, this checkbox turns the notification message on. What the notification message is, is I'm going to get that, that text whenever one of my buddies texts in my unique code. I'm going to get a text that says I only need, and I use the percent to go percent variable, I only need five more to get a free pizza. I only need four more to get a free pizza. And that's going to be set by this number. If this is set to 10, two of your buddies have texted in, the two go variable is going to read 8. Okay? This is the winning message. This is the message that will go out to me after five of my buddies have texted in the unique code that I sent them. Okay? And down here is an if member message. Same, you know, just like if just like is used everywhere else. If they're already on the keyword group list pizza and they try and text in again, they're gonna get that message. Any questions about this screen? Or things on this screen? Could the notification cause compliance problems if you exceed the max messages per month TOS? Um, what TOS, Rick? I mean, the person getting the notification in this situation is me. I'm the original person that agreed to participate. Where is the list of ball percent word percent, and can we, and can we add to it? No, you can't add to it. Um, I'm com right now. Those those variables are in the tooltips. Right here, Larry. Um, we're compiling a complete list, but we want to get past this last round of changes. Um, if if you're looking for a variable and you can't find it, uh, just hit us up at support. We'll get it for you. But they're in the tooltips. Let's see. I would change the order of those fields to match the process. <sighs> yeah. I, we've changed them several times, Mark. The process is different for everybody, and this is how they wound up. So, Carrie says, sitting here in my office, my other life as a dentist, can see this viral campaign working incredibly well for dentists, chiropractors, etc. Dentist to the stars, Carrie Gans there, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing, Carrie? Good to see you. Glad to have you on the call. Uh, will an if member go out to the second person if he tries to type share again? Yes. Um,
Most drivers will not discount an invoice and walk around with a calculator. Any way we can use this with use this with store taking discount on the phone call. You can do whatever the hell you want with it. I think that's Brad, uh, CC. But yeah, you can do whatever you want with it, brother. I mean, deliver a link to a coupon. I mean, you get fancy with it. Deliver a link to a mobile coupon that's got a UPC symbol in it and you know, I mean, do, yeah, it's, if you've got a proposal for a feature, let me know about it. If, if you just want to tell me it's not going to work, I disagree with you, <laughs> we're making it work. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could deliver a link to a coupon. Um, you could deliver a link to a coupon generated in LBS and track the leads 12 ways from Sunday uh, and track the redemption if you want to. There's lots of ways to slice it up. Um, obviously, this is a text message. We can't send anything but numbers and letters here. Let's see. The winner list is obviously for the next time they order pizza and it is delivered correct. Um, in this campaign, yes, Charles. Uh, in other campaigns that you might be trying to pull off, that may or may not be the case. Um, there will be a little bit more controls added in here as far as timing, um, but I don't want to speak to what because like, I don't want to tell you guys a bunch of stuff that doesn't wind up happening. Um, I've got some ideas. Uh, it, it's, it's involved. We just have to kind of see where it goes. This is where we're at today. Um, so the customer has to text the keyword when they are delivered the pizza, question mark. No, not necessarily. You could set that up that way. You could have the driver tell, hey, if you text pizza to this phone number, I can give you an instant two bucks off. I mean, you could absolutely set it up that way. They could text in while the driver's standing there. Driver could watch them do it, get the message back, and get the two bucks off. And if the driver doesn't watch them do it, then the coupon's no good. You could set it up that way. Um, it appears that you have 50%, uh, some percent, for a future date and in-store of hers. And purchase in store purchase and ten percent off when a pizza is delivered, but five better than ten. Uh, I don't understand that question, Art. I'm sorry. Let's see. Is ten the limit or can we set it to infinite so we can say the person with the most gets second gets? Uh, you, you, yeah, I mean, you can't, uh, you can't set it to infinite, but you could certainly set it to 10,000 or something like that. Yeah, that'd be a great way to use this, Larry. I didn't even think of that. You just have to go in and, uh, you know, scrape the database uh, to get the number right now. But, yeah, you could use this as some type of contest, I suppose. Uh, do the shares need to be sent the same day? No, it's not like keyword of the day. The code, the share codes have no expiration on them. Uh, are the code keywords case sensitive? No, they're not. Um, uh, wouldn't percent be a special character to avoid? Mark is referring to this right here. Yes, it is a special character to avoid, Mark. However, test you know you can you can test that in like 10 seconds and see if it's a problem and sometimes they work and sometimes they don't and it has to do with what they're up against next to in the code so like you can so you test them and sometimes they work and they're okay so that's what we we're always going to tell you to do is test 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 always test your campaign before it goes live what goes in the field web URL? Uh, it's covered in lots of other trainings, Jim, including a video in the members area. And if you don't understand what it is, just leave it blank. 
basically it allows you to forward to a third party script. Okay. Uh, let's see. Which code word does the buddy get? He gets the code word generated by this variable, David. So you get you get this message. Have your friends text code to this number, and you would put in you know the phone number of the campaign here, which in this case is right there. And and then the, when you get this message, that unique code is output to you into this message by this variable. Uh, can we get the code to be all caps? There's, uh, isn't it all, is it all caps now? I can't even remember. It's a mixture, isn't it? It doesn't matter. It's not, they're not case sensitive. Uh, let's see. Does text in number need the one in the message? No. No, not in not in a message. Um, if I was texting in that number from a cell phone, I wouldn't use the one. Uh, but I could use the one, but I don't have to with most cell carriers. Uh, any plan to enter a contest campaign or viral campaign? We're looking at ways to flow from one campaign to another campaign. That's that's what I that's what I'll say about it. We're looking at ways to do it. Uh, did I miss this? Is there a limiting expire date for this viral setup? Uh, not yet, Rick. In process. Um, let's see. But the code is hard to read as mixed case, plus there are ambiguous characters in the code. So what you guys are telling me, all caps, alpha only, you guys think that's what would be best? All caps, alpha only. See what we can do. Yeah, if it's an easy fix, if it's just a matter of setting something in the generator, then then we'll do it. Um, if it's involved, we'll in, we'll continue this discussion later. Any more questions about the viral campaign, the stuff that's on this page? Uh, can winner message also be text to the business owner? Not, not currently. In contests, it can regular contests, but not in viral or loyalty. Um, but it'll it'll be coming, Tim. It'll be coming. Let's see. Is there a variable to automatically pull in the campaign phone number? Uh, no, there's not. Uh, I think this can be a giant. And, and then this is a great question from Carrie. How do you suggest testing a viral setup? Well, what I would probably do, Carrie, is kind of sneak up on it. Um, if you set that to three and have three of your friends text in when you tell them to and then take a look at the SMS reports, you can see it happening correctly. Okay? Now, we're going to be running a test. Um, I My problem is, Carrie, I would love to test this to a thousand people. I, I can't I can't make it happen. You know, I, I, I can't make it happen in a test group because I can't get enough people to participate in a structured manner to test everything on it. So what I'm going to be doing very soon uh, through our forum is 
testing the system with an offer that will allow people to test to their friends. That's not going to offend anybody. Um, yeah, exactly, Rick. That's Rick says, can't we use us to test for a certain item that you have? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm putting together, Rick. And, and we're going to detail it out in the forum very shortly. Um, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to have, I'm going to give you guys, you know, just because I need your help, I'm going to give you guys like a WSO or something or run a contest or something, and you guys get your friends to text in. When they text in, I'll give them a WSO or something like that. But that will allow us to... Uh, He'll do it for a virtual car wash. That's awesome. That's awesome. Um, that will allow us to test it pretty thoroughly, and that's exactly what we were talking about doing anyway. So, any more questions about this? Yeah, I know. There's a bunch of there's a bunch of Skype groups. Uh, Dennis has about half a dozen of us in. Uh, Ken's mastermind group have tested the viral campaign and and yeah we've tested it to the best of our abilities as well um, you know so we don't see any issues with it um, but we you know it, it would be nice to get a, a true three tier test on it uh, instead of a two tier test and that's what we'll be able to pull off so Um, hang on a second. Frank T says, uh, hi guys, any news on the invoice and salesman modules for SPS system? Um, I was going to see if Ed was on the call, but Ed and Eric are both sick as dogs. I know they're both here, but like their heads are just full of concrete right now. They're just sick as dogs. So I'm not going to look for Ed. Um, it's in process. You know, we we nothing is programming is a funny thing as as i become you know as i get deeper and deeper into this thing uh that becomes pretty obvious programming is just a funny thing you can be inches from the finish line and just have that one bug that takes weeks and weeks and weeks to work out of the system and yeah that's just where we're at with it um we don't expect it to be but a couple of days, but anything goes. It's in process. As soon as it's ready, you'll have it. I can promise you that. Um, you know, there's, there's, it, it's doable now with a little more manual work. So we're working on it as quickly as we can. Uh, Ask them to participate in a beta test for a free month of service. No. No. Do you have any idea what a, just offering a free month of service would do to my support desk? <laughs> we, we can't do that. Um, uh, hi, Dave. How many clients do you have currently running the viral and the loyalty campaigns? We've just got some test stuff going on with test clients. Uh, they were existing clients that allowed me to do some minimal testing, and we're just getting started with it. Uh, let's see. QQQ, can you show our Twilio balance in our dashboard? Can you show our Twilio balance in the dashboard? Since you're already connected to the API, it should be easy to do. Uh, I don't know. You're right. Should be easy to do if if there's an API call to do it. Ron, have you looked? Have you dug through the API over there? I mean, is there a a variable set for it? Is it written into the REST API or the PHP library or whatever? Ron. Uh, yeah, I'll take a look today too, Ron. Yeah, if, if there's a call for it, we can put it in there. That's no sweat. Um, let's see. I missed some webinars. Did you do the life cycle demo? And if so, where can I find it? Um, 
we did. It was half life cycle, half Q and A about SPS intermixed in there, but we do have it time stamped. It's over in the forum, David. Stepped away for a minute. Is the viral campaign working, or are there some fixes coming in the next day or so? No, Carrie. As far as Carrie says, stepped away for a minute. Did you have to go back to a patient that you had left waiting too damn long and finish a filling or something like that? Carrie, Carrie just got his daily his work in for the day. His his five minutes. 2000 an hour. I pick on Carrie because I haven't had the chance to do that publicly for a while. Um, yeah, a viral campaign is working fine as is. I wouldn't say there's fixes coming because there are absolutely no fixes or reported bugs in our system. Uh, there may be some changes coming, uh, but it's not going to be over the next day or so. It, it'll be a couple of weeks away, probably. Uh, let's see. <laughs> get a customer that has donuts and have the policeman test the viral with the fireman. I like it. Uh, yeah, I don't understand that one. Someone mentioned dentist and the viral campaign. How could a dentist use the viral campaign? Carrie, you got time to jump on? All right, hang on, let me find you here. Carrie's always got good ideas. What's happening, brother? Not much, David. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. How could a dentist use a viral campaign? Yeah, I was just sitting with, matter of fact, I was in the middle of an office meeting when this, this whole um, webinar started. That's why I had to step away. But the reality is we're always looking for ways to get our name out and be unique. That, you know, dentistry today... Um, you know, the business part of it is all about being unique. So my thought was the same way that you're, excuse me? Can you hear me? Us? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so my thought was the same way you're talking about the pizza and uh, for 50% off and 100% off, we could do the same thing, say, with tooth whitening and send it out. I have my, the cell phone numbers of all my patients and put the list of patients, send them out an offer saying, you know, you get 50% off the tooth whitening share this and you can come in with the tooth whitening for free and, and tooth, you know, that can you imagine how viral that can become and tooth whitening is one of those there's there's big big margin in tooth whitening too right yeah i used to own a tooth whitening company I mean, it cost a buck to buy the stuff and the guys are selling it you know excluding the time element because we you know the hygienist spends an hour and a half but excluding that they sell it for six hundred dollars eight hundred dollars so it costs a buck and a half to actually make the material so, right. Yeah, there's, there's, it's a great lost leader, even if it's not, because when you get people in for the tooth whitening, they tend to stay for other things. So, but it, you know that I can see becoming incredibly viral. All right. And there are lots of other things, but that in particular. Yeah, and think and think about this. You know, too, if you could target where the where the original opt-in came from a little bit and be creative with it, uh, I know that. Uh, you know, if you could target just moms. You give mom free tooth whitening. Well, what does mom do? Mom books dentist appointments for the entire damn family. Absolutely. So now you got mom on free tooth whitening because she shared with ten other moms, and now you pick up four or five customers because you got dad and all the kids too. Yeah, no, I think that's what I said to you when, I mean, as I was looking at it, Dave. This is, I think, for if you know, chiropractors are no different. Um, you know, attorneys. I mean, there's uh, you know, for the ambulance chasers, same type of stuff. And it's just a great way of getting out to the market, and nobody's doing it. And I, I love stuff that's unique and different. And that's why I count on you. Well, we try. It don't always work out. Thanks for jumping on, man. My pleasure. Talk to you later. Kerry Gans, Dennis to the Stars, live from the Big Apple there, folks. Um, does anybody have any other questions on the viral campaign? Let's see. No, lots of thank yous, though, for Carrie. Appreciate it, Carrie. Really do. Um, it's, it's nice when somebody, you know, Carrie, uh, Carrie, Carrie's not only a dentist with great ideas, guys, but Carrie, Carrie's a, a dominant player in the SMS industry, okay? Um, so <laughs> it's uh, always good to hear his take on things. Uh, let's see. And Carrie says people can always reach me on Skype personally if they have any questions. Kerry Gans, he's the guy with the big toothy smile. You can't miss him. Um, 
Yeah, thanks for sharing, Rich says. Yeah, lots of thanks. Thanks thanks for being here, Carrie. Any other questions on the viral? Otherwise, we're going to wrap it up for the day. Uh, we'll probably do Tuesday's webinar on just miscellaneous features and functionalities and, uh, and things of that with the software, some of the more involved standalone stuff, and we'll just kind of make sure that we get all these buttons covered. And uh, we will go from there. Jeff says, Dave, will the problem with the prawns not firing any of the scheduled events or autoresponders be fixed right away so we can use basic functionalities of the campaign? Jeff, I don't think that's an issue across the system, brother. Um, please punch that into support. Uh, I think that's uh, specific to what you got going because we don't have an ongoing problem with prawns uh, that I'm aware of. Um, okay. Yeah, uh, I'll, yeah, I'll investigate. I'm just reading through, uh, your, the rest of your questions here, Jeff. Um, shoot us a reminder into the support desk, if you would, please, so we can, we can look into it. Um, it, it there's, you know, I mean, there's, there's 600 people that own the thing, and, uh, if, if there's only one or two of you reporting it, I don't, uh, I don't know what the solution is going to be, but we'll tear into it. Uh, is there a radius feature in this? What's a radius feature, May? Ah, yeah, Geo. No, how would you do that with SMS? That's not an SMS thing. That's an app thing. The only way you can geotarget an SMS campaign is by area code and prefix that gets you close you understand what I mean when I say area code and prefix may what you could do right yeah okay yeah you could export your lists you know and uh, break them down by area code and prefix prefix being the first three digits of the number after the area code and uh, do a little internet research, and that would tell you uh, roughly where those people are. Um, but yeah, there's no way to geotarget a text message. Um, that's that's more of an app thing. So, with that said, we're going to wrap it up for today. Uh, we will get you guys a notice um, the, uh, of the next training webinar. Uh, if you haven't picked up the Wrecking Ball SMS system, uh, it is available. Price is going up again over the weekend, but you can get in now and get grandfathered in if you like. Uh, also, uh, we're going to turn the notification on that you guys are going to see on login here, and um, the reporting module uh, is ready for an early bird beta sale, and uh, there's a video explaining where exactly we're taking that on, on the page. Um, so yeah, you'll be seeing that. And we will uh, talk to most of you probably later tonight. Uh, if you're not signed up for the webinar tonight with Ken, uh, you need to. I know what we're talking about. Eric knows what we're talking about. Um, it's awesome, awesome stuff. Ken's going to give you a technique for finding new clients that is just so easy. I mean, every time I see, every time I'm talking to him, he knocks off. He gets another message. It's amazing. Um, we'll put a post. Mark says, I only see one webinar dated 410, and it's in the bonus area. Uh, no, Mark, I think it's over in the forum. If you don't, yeah, click. I'm pretty sure it's over in the forum, Mark. But if you can't find it, shoot us a support ticket. We'll give you a link. Um, so hopefully I'll see most of you tonight. And uh, with that said, have a great day and a profitable tomorrow. See ya.